Um, the first is, can the prompts used for AI content generation count as creative human effort, i.e. prompt engineering, we hear about in a previous, they, they, they heard about in a previous session here at the conference. The second question is basically the same, but a little bit more context. If a person writes a prompt that an AI system uses to generate an image with the person's writing of that prompt constitute enough human creativity to give them authorship in the resulting image? If not, why not? Why is writing a prompt different than instructing a piece of software like Photoshop to perform an edit of an image, an act which currently might create a registration eligible derivative work? Well, very interesting questions. Uh, a couple of thoughts. Uh, first of all, I think a, a lot of this would depend on the complexity of the prompt. And uh, so far, a number of the prompts that I've seen personally uh, are too simple, uh, are, are short and simple enough that we probably would not consider them eligible themselves for copyright protection. But I can see that it could be conceivable that you could have a very long and creative prompt. Um, and I'd be interested to see how that might evolve. Um, the second question would be whether there would be copyright protection in the prompt itself or in the output of what the machine does with the prompt. And that's an interesting question. Their suggestion is that it could be a registration eligible derivative work. And I suppose that's possible. It does seem to me very uh, a very fact dependent question. You would have to look at exactly what the prompt was and what that led to the machine doing. And I don't know, Rob, do you have anything you'd wanna add? No, I agree completely. I think that we are starting to look at these issues and um, evaluating them. And the one benefit we have within the Copyright Office and the registration program is we see a wide variety of these issues and are able to look at this and really try to evaluate it on an ongoing basis. And uh, I think it becomes really important to understand the it's not going to be, there's not going to be one answer for everything because a lot of it is very specific to the particular technology and or software being used and how that operates, what what it's using, how it how in, how human authorship is maybe input, and what is the result of the output. So as Shira said, at a minimum, there is some aspect there may be some aspect of derivativeness in these in these ultimate in the ultimate output and one of the questions that we have to really consider in in different ways is um, to what extent can we identify the human authorship in that output if, if particularly if as in the uh the suriast uh example as if they are inseparable from each other. Well, it's interesting. Um, just to follow up, I think that the idea that the prompt could be complex enough is interesting. Do you see when people so far have applied for copyright protection that they've included the prompts that were used? I'm not aware at this time of anyone having submitted the prompts themselves or included that. Um, so this is, it's just starting. Um, we There will be a lot going on, but the prompts themselves if submitted would be textual works. And, you know, we have looked at this issue in relation to, and the many questions we've received over the years of our tweets copyrightable. Well, they might be if they're sufficiently creative. Um, so we have to look at uh, it on a case-by-case -case basis. 